Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Killer. We begin this hour with the devastating fire still burning at the historic Pocono Resort and Spa in Monroe County. Nearly two dozen fire departments from four counties have been working all day to save what they can. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler has been on scene since this morning. He joins us live now with our update. Cody. Mark, good evening. The fire has been burning since this morning, going on 11 hours. First responders came from Monroe, Carbon, Luzerne, and Lackawanna counties to battle this rentless fire. The 911 call came in just after 6.30 Friday morning for a commercial structure fire at Pocono Manor Resort and Spa. According to first responders and employees of the inn, it started in the kitchen. Somebody said they smelled smoke. We went to look. We found smoke in one room. We went to go into the other room. We couldn't get in it. We ran, called the fire department, and evacuated the building. Wanda Zalazeski says 20 people were inside when the fire broke out. 14 guests and six employees all made it out safely. With strong winds, the fire continued to spread. <laughs> Tankers came in one by one to replenish the water supply. Oh, it, it's just so sad because it's a beautiful building. Absolutely beautiful building. It was built in 1902 as a Quaker resort. Murray Keller is a guest staying in the concrete fireproof section of the resort built in the 1920s and woke up to a fire alarm. She and her roommate quickly exited towards the kitchen where they were faced with smoke. An employee redirected them to a waiting area before making a final exit. They said that it was contained and we felt okay. And then all of a sudden the fire truck started coming. More than 100 firefighters are helping contain and eventually put the fire out at a place many people vacation or work. It's, this was home. It's, I can't talk anymore. The general manager of the resort tells me seven, more than 70% of the original building has been burnt. That was at noon today. Mark, at this hour, that percentage is expected to be much higher. In Pocono Township, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. Just devastating, Cody, thanks.